In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a Discord server support ticket. So for some reason, if you need to create a server support ticket, this video is for you. Hi everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is NS Chooks. In my YouTube channel, I post content related to web design, WordPress, PHP script installations, and then every other thing that makes browsing the internet and easy stuff for my viewers so if you might be interested in each and every one of these please consider hitting the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so you get notified whenever i upload a new video and i would also urge you to stick to the end of this video and if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any question in between the video also leave it for me in the comment section below after this short break we get started into the video Hey guys, welcome back to the video. So let's get started immediately. So I'm already logged into my Discord account right here. You can see this is a brand new account. So I'm already logged in. So if you don't have a Discord account, just go over to discord.com to get the desktop app or you can actually, you know, sign up from the browser or you can also download the mobile version as well so if you want to follow this video please make sure you are on desktop so if you're here if you're good now you can follow my steps so the very first thing i'm going to do is to create a server so for me to create a server i'm going to click on this plus sign right here you can see if you hover on this plus sign you will see add a server so i'm going to click on that so from here i don't need any template for now so i'm just going to click on the create my own from scratch and for here i have for me and my friends and for a club or community so if you need to create for a club or a community you, you pretty much want to go with this option right here but for me i'm going to go with this for me and my friends so from here you pretty much want to upload a photo for the server right a display icon for the server but i'm not gonna do that right now i'll just go ahead and go straight to the point so from here i will you know impute the server name so i'll just call it support ticket right i don't know you can call the server whichever name that you wish maybe your product name or your service name right so i'll just call this support ticket okay now i'm gonna click on create Okay, the server has already been created with two default channels right here. You can see this channel category, the text channels and also the voice channels. And then it automatically generated the general channel and also the general channel for the voice category as well. So I'm just going to, you know, minimize the voice channel right here. I don't really need that so guys the next thing we are going to do is to create a channel for the support ticket so for me to create a support ticket channel for this server right here i'm going to click on this plus button right here just next to the text channels so i'm gonna hit the plus button right here and then i'll leave this this way it is because i need a text channel right you can see that the text channel is already here if you need a voice channel you can as well do it like this but now i'm going to leave it at text and then go ahead to impute the channel name right here so i'll name it create a create a ticket you know create a ticket okay i'm good and i'm just going to hit the create channel now the channel is created and then we go over to the browser and then we do the rest from the browser okay i'm just gonna go back to the browser right here and i already have these tickets boats.net opened up on my browser so you go over to the tickets boats.net i'm gonna have the link on the description of this video so click on the link and you get to this page and then you pretty much want to click on invite tickets to your server so i have already logged my discord account 
in from the browser right so if you have not logged in your discord account from the browser you pretty much want to hit the invite ticket to your server then you'll be prompted to log into your discord account feel free to log into your discord account so come back to this page and then follow along with me so for now i'm gonna hit the invite ticket to your server button okay guys you can see that it's actually taking me to discord.com for me to verify that i want to you know connect my server with this boat right here so you can see here add to server so i'm gonna select this server right here so you, you can only see this if you are logged into your discord from your browser right so from here i'm gonna click on the support ticket obviously that's the only server that i have in my you know uh, discord account so i'm gonna click to select the support ticket server right here and i'm gonna click on continue so scroll down and click on authorize okay so a, a little bit of capture right so I, of course i'm a human i'm gonna click that and um probably fill up the capture stuff right okay i'm a human i'm a human i'm a human okay okay containing a building okay this is a building a building a building and i think i'm good click on verify okay we are verified we are human and you can see guys success ticket has been authorized and added to support ticket right so we're gonna go open another tab right here and then type in panel dot panel dot ticket boot ticket boot dot com dot net sorry about that ticket boot dot net so i'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video as well so it's gonna bring on this authorization once more so for that i'm gonna click on authorize again okay you can see that guys um we are logged in to the panel ticket boards you can see that right there and then you can see the servers we have on board if you want to invite a new server you pretty much want to click this invite to your server right here but for now we have this support ticket server that we already created and connected to the ticket boat right so i'm just gonna click on the support ticket right here and okay you can see all the settings i have to do right here allow users to close ticket um ticket close confirmation okay i'm not gonna allow users to close ticket as so i'm just gonna untick that and keep scrolling you can see the trade mode okay so just move ahead with me right guys so i'm gonna expand this more open command right here and then keep scrolling keep scrolling keep scrolling i'm gonna leave this the naming scheme right here at ticket one ticket two or ticket three to infinity right so as your users keep creating tickets it it will keep giving it you know a unique name and then the the number right here will keep increasing plus one so i'm gonna click on the context menu right here and i think i'm good with this click on the claiming right here and i think i will have the support reps can type in claim ticket right okay the auto close right here i think i'm good with this also um i think i'm good with this as well cool i'm gonna scroll up and then click on the reaction panels right here you can see that so click on the reaction panels and the, right here we're gonna set out everything that we need the um, ticket to do for us right okay now just follow along with my settings and you'll be perfectly good okay um from here you can see the panel channel right here i'm gonna click on this and i will select the create a ticket so this is the channel that we want the ticket to be created into right so i'm gonna click on the create a ticket channel right there and then i'm sure not going to disable this panel right here okay so for the button color you can choose any other color of your choice for the button text i'm gonna say um server issues right maybe you have having a you're having a server issues server issues okay so i'm just gonna copy that okay scroll up once more you can see this you can just you know use the placeholder idea open a ticket 
open a ticket so you know you can actually type in anything you wish to type in right here it doesn't really matter right it doesn't really matter okay guys um just scroll down a bit and let's see and okay i think i'm good right here i'm gonna scroll up a bit i want to do one more thing just click on this mention on open right here and then ticket open i'm gonna choose this ticket opener right and then um, keep going this is a text channel obviously okay guys let's scroll down once more and see if there is anything left for us to fill in right here okay i'm just gonna click on this submit and let's click on this submit you can see panel created successfully i'm gonna click on this close right here and you can see we have one panel over here so you can see your panel quota is three and we have already created one panel out of three from here okay guys one more thing that we need to do before this ticket works fine is come over to the right sidebar from here and you can see the panel title right i'm gonna type in click to open a ticket click to open a ticket yeah click to open a ticket and then this is going to be the action word right and then i'll just scroll and from here the panel channel from here you can actually choose the color of the panel that you wish but i'm just going to leave it at that purple right there and for here you can see the panel channel okay just click on this and I'll, i'm going to select the the channel from here create a ticket channel okay and then from the panels section i'm gonna select the open etiquette panel you can see the panel that we created here the open etiquette panel that we created here so i'm just going to you know click the panels and then will select the open etiquette panel okay so and that's how i'm going to hit the submit okay so let's go over to the discord and see what's going on over there and from here you can see our from the create a ticket channel you can see here right we have the server issues for you can see if i get to click this server issues right here a ticket will be generated automatically so let me just do that i'll hit this right here and you can see we have the ticket one over there and you can see that the ticket has been created so as the admin i'm going to hit on the ticket right here for me to be able to respond you can see the ticket right here so if i want to respond to this ticket i'm gonna type something hello hello how can i help you how can i help you okay hello how can i help you so i'm gonna send in that and you can see so the user that created the tickets is gonna see this right here and he will also respond and then the conversation can keep going here privately you can see that so now only the admin can be able to close the tickets from here you can see close tickets close with a reason and then claim the ticket okay so i'm just gonna hit on the close ticket right here okay you can see you have been prompted with another notice now i'm gonna, I'm gonna click on the close tickets again now the ticket has been closed you can see that a white ticket appeared okay you can see that so if we go back to the browser if we go back to the browser and go to transcript right here uh, you can see that we already have one ticket over here so you can click to view the tickets so you can view the conversation that happened in the ticket you can see the user created the tickets and then the admin replied and the admin had to close the ticket okay and then the ticket is over so i'm gonna go back also so if you want to create more panels come over to reaction panels right here and then you can you can create more panels over here okay you can create another ticket for another category of customers or maybe another category of products okay so you can actually test out so many tools so many options right here to to help you customize your support ticket guys so that's all i have for you in this video if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and then if you have any question also in between the video leave it for me in the comment section below 
so do well to check out my discord playlist i'm pretty much sure you're gonna find rich information to feed on okay so if you're yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please go ahead and smack the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video that's it for this video guys goodbye for now